Hi, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel and to Fabulous Friday. I have some things I'm going to show you. This past weekend, my husband and I went to Alora, Ontario, Canada, because he had a plein air festival. And I told him one of my prices for going with him and watching paint dry was that I would get to go to the unique scrapbooking store and maybe to a Dollar Tree or a Dollarama of some sort as well. Well, I went shopping and I'm going to flip my camera around and show you I have an entire bag, another bag. There's some more things under there and we're going to go through it. What I wanted to show you first, however, was this. This is Dr. Sin from the Scarecrow of Romney Marsh. There is no figurine inside. It's just the box. But I have a friend. Let me bring it over here so you can see it better. There we go. I have a friend who is an animator, and he found out that this was my favorite Disney movie of, as a kid growing up. I loved The Scarecrow of Romney Marsh. And so he went ahead and bought me the box, and he said, at some point, maybe you'll find a figurine that can go inside of it. But yeah, that was just fun. Not, nothing to do with scrapbooking, but fun. And then the two napkins that are on top... Our hostess, where we stayed, Lisa, thank you very much for these napkins. You don't probably even know that I snitched them. Um, we use these for dinner, and mine sat on my lap. I never used it. I just sat on my lap. I was a very clean eater that night, and so I snitched the napkins. Okay, I'm going to pause my video and rearrange. Oh, before I do, I wanted to show this. Being in the States, our Dollar Tree doesn't have a maple leaf and this one does. I thought that was really cool. So I'm going to switch my camera around and I will show you what is in my bags. Boy, are you going to be thrilled. Talk to you soon. Okay, so I'm going to start with this piece, although this was among the last things that I picked up this weekend. Um, I went to a church sale they had a plant sale outside, but I can't get the plants because I live in the States and they frown on me bringing plants over the border. But I picked up a couple pieces of tissue paper. This is you know, unused tissue paper, and I don't have those colors, so I thought those were pretty. And then I picked up this really cool lace doily, but I thought that would look really nice around a journal cover. Wouldn't that look nice around there, front and back? So I have that, and then I picked up these two very, mis they match, but one is very badly uh, stained, and this one has some stains on it as well. But I thought those would look really nice as a background. I have a friend of mine in some Happy Mail sent me like this cluster before, and I thought, wouldn't that really be pretty on the, on there? So yeah, I picked up a couple of those. And then I also picked up this notebook. Now I took the notebook over and I said, how much do you want for the notebook? And she looked at it and she said, $5. And I said, sold. The whole thing, this this entire, the, the, the two pieces, the doilies, the, all of that, the whole thing cost me $10. Canadian, which was like $7.30 United States. So... What this is, this was a woman, and I have two of these, um, two of these book, booklets. I have two of these booklets with the patterns intact. If anybody is interested in one of them, it went for $16 originally, uh, Canadian, but there are two of them in here. So if you want one, let me know because I'm willing to get, I'm willing to part with one. But this was a woman who was learning to make and to deal with laces. So I have all of her handwritten notes. She's got written, she wrote on all of these pieces, but these are all the loose pieces. More importantly, she also was taking a class on tucks and smocking. So all of her pieces that she tried, oh, that one's pinned to, these are pinned to the page so I can take them out later. But I have all of these little pieces, and they're all throughout the entire book with all of these different pieces that she was making. 
So she did these. Again, those are stuck to the page. And then her, her notes. I mean, look at these. These are not stuck to the page. Let me pull this one out. Look at that piece. I got it upside down. There we go. Isn't that wonderful? And these were just her practice pieces. She was just figuring out how to do it and how to, how to put it together, trying out a new machine. And I thought, oh, I can use these a lot. I'm not going to put try to put it back in there, but they're all throughout here. Um, obviously, she had a Bernina. I think that's how you say it, Bernina machine. There, are, she did lace edges, um, the construction guides. All sorts of things. So if you have ideas on how to use all of this, and there's the other book. So the other book, it doesn't look like it's even been opened. It's been right inside here all this time. So if you are interested in one of these books, let me know. I might even be willing to part with both of them because I'm not a lace person other than using it. I don't, I'm never going to try it. And then this was a, a larger piece that she had done. And this is long. She tried out all the different stitches. And then she wrote on them, so you know what stitch it is. So all of this for $10 Canadian. That was a good deal. Let me just move that aside. And I'm going to pull out the Dollar Tree stuff. Now, well, actually, you know what? Let me go back. Let me go to, to the scrapbooking store. I bought... So many things at the scrapbooking store that I really just wanted to play with. Um, this is a stencil that I think looks really pretty, so I thought I would like to use that at some point. I bought Stamperia Orchids and Cats, and I bought this I, in, in the 12 by 12. I also bought it in the 8 by 8. They didn't have the background papers for them, but I thought that's okay. I'm sure I can find other things that are going to fit with it uh, because I want to do a cat journal. And so when I saw the Stamperia Orchids and Cats, I said, that's it, mine. So I have that. I also, I have never worked with rice paper, and I'm afraid this one got a little bit smushed. I, don't, I think that's going to be okay. I can probably iron it out. Uh, but I, I did the time journal, and I thought these would be really pretty to cut out and put into the time journal. So although I've already done the walkthrough for that, and I consider it done, I'm sure I can find a place for these in there. And I'm also working on a purple journal, a lilac journal, and I saw these. This is Minté. I cannot get Minté or Stamperia any place locally. Uh, I can order them online. Uh, but I have not found any store in my local area that does either one of these. So obviously I bought while I could and was up there. I bought Minté and I bought Stamperia. In fact, there's some more Minté. There's the, the, uh, eight, eight by eight, um, orchids and cats. That's Stamperia. Okay, I also bought Minté Peony Garden, and I these are six by sixes. But I just love the colors, and there's cats in it, so you know it'll find its way into the cat journal because the colors for this and the colors for this we can make work. Yeah, this was on sale. It was on clearance. It was on sale for eight nine. It was six nine six forty nine on sale for eight ninety nine. Uh, it's Graphic 45. I don't have any Graphic 45. And these are a little bit brighter colors than I normally like. It's an 8x8. I don't know what I'll use it for, but I thought I'm not going to sit there and let it, I'm not going to pass it up. I bought it. So there. What else do I have in here? Okay. Um, I also bought an ephemera pack. Let's go ahead and open this in ephemera pack because... It has a picture on the back as to what's in it, but I really want to see it better. I don't, okay, come on. There we go. What I like with all of these is that you can use that as a card. And oh look, it has a clock on it and a mushroom. But I just thought these were pretty. 
So let's take a look. So, oh, look at this. We have some butterflies. It looks like it might be an I, a J. I don't know. Oh, yeah, these will be fun to play with. So, yeah, I bought this ephemera pack. They're stickers as opposed to rub-ons. I don't do rub-ons very well, so we bought those. Also, in the 49 and Market section, I bought lavender to go with my purple journal. This is a frame set, and they are cardstock frames, and then lavender, or, um, these are lavender envelope bits. There's... Let's see. We'll just take out a few of them. So there's little mini lavender envelopes that you can put something down into. And frames that says memories made, remember the moment. And just little cards. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun playing with these. I can't wait to get back to my lavender journal. I've been away from my crafting table for several days now, and I am very excited to get back to it. So those are those, and then the lavender set. And then also to go with this, they had these also on sale, and these are also Graphic 45. It is the same. Um, I'm looking to see if it says, the, if it has a name on it. Ephemera Queen? I don't know. Ephemera Queen Collection. So these are some other bits to go in with that. Oh, those will be fun to play with. Look at all this. Look at all this ephemera. Oh, there's a little card there with some, with the, the spade and the heart and the diamond. Or I can flip it over and use the other side. To my dear, looks like Queen and uh, Marie Antoinette. We'll talk about Marie Antoinette in June when I go down to um, Susquehanna, because that's Marie Antoinette. Also from 49 and Market, I have never played with the fabric tape. <coughs> Excuse me. And I am very excited to play around with the fabric tape. So there is, this is, it just looked pretty. There are butterflies on there. Oh, it's really, really sticky. Like I said, and I've never tried it, so we'll see how this goes. Um, and there are a couple of other rolls. This is just kind of some writing on it. Oh, wow, that is really sticky. Okay, we'll have to... If you have, uh, again, if you have any insights as to playing with fabric tape, please let me know in the comments, because I have never played with fabric tape, but I thought that that was really pretty. So I got that from, from there. This is all from the Unique Scrapbook Store. Like I said, I will be happy to put the link down below. This is Weathered Wood and Villainous Portion Distress Ink. I have a whole lot of Distress Oxides, and I've been wanting to try the Distress Ink. Again, it is not readily available where I live. I can go to Michael's and I can get excuse me, some oxides, but I cannot get the inks. I can get Ranger inks, but I can't get the Distress ink, and I really wanted to try it. So I got a couple of those, and then I got Memento Ze Teal Zeal. I have one other Memento that I really like, and I thought, well, what the heck, I'll, I'll give it another one and, and see how I like it. So I got that. And that's it for the scrapbooking store. That was everything that I got at the scrapbooking store. So now... Then I made a mistake. I was thinking I wanted Dollarama when I really wanted Dollar Tree. Dollarama, the prices start at a dollar fifty and go up. Um, so I bought. I did go and I did buy a couple of things there. But what I really wanted was the Dollar Tree. So on the same day that I went to the scrapbooking store, I also went to the Dollarama, and I picked up this for myself. I don't know if that's going to show up there. It's a three-tiered divided storage box that I know most people use like for um, beads and jewelry and things, but I'm thinking that's going to be really nice for my washi tapes. There's some lilac washi tape, and I think that's going to 
I have some that I'm using already for washi tapes, but um, they're not portable, not by any means. And this will be a nice way to take it when I'm going places or just to store it in. So, and it was, I think, $5 Canadian. So how could I leave it, right? All right, we'll deal with that later. Set that aside. And that's everything in that bag. So then I went to, I figured it out, and I went to the Dollar Tree. At the Dollar Tree, everything is $1.50. For me, that was $1.10. If I shop at the Dollar Tree in the United States, everything's a dollar and a quarter. So I, I justified it by saying I'm saving 15 cents on everything that I buy because I'm paying 15 cents less here out of my money than I would in home. So I kind of went nuts. So let me start pulling things out. First of all, I got some laces. Now I have these laces already. I have bought these laces, but I've, I'm almost out of the uh, cream one. And I figured, what the heck? I'm sitting here buying the laces. I might as well buy one of each. All right, I'm silly. I bought these fans. I know they're cheap fans and I just fell in love with, okay, see, this one doesn't even necessarily open all the way. And that's okay. Or maybe that's as far as it's supposed to open. It doesn't really matter. Because I'm thinking I'm going to use that on a journal cover somewhere. Somehow, somewhere. So I bought two fans. I know, somewhat weird. To go with my purple journal, I bought crepe paper. Purple crepe paper. I also bought this kind of purple yarn. I have a lot of this eyelash line, eyelash yarn. Um, I don't have any in purple. So yeah, my lavender journal is going to get lots. I found this, which I really liked. This is a green lace that I thought was just really pretty. And this was at the Dollar Tree. Or maybe it was the Dollar Rama. I don't remember anymore. Everything kind of got... To pack up to come home, things kind of got moved around a little bit. So I don't necessarily have everything in the right places. This was the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's a doily, and I can use it... Um, I can use it a couple different ways. I may use try to use it in my coffee dyeing, but I think I'm also going to use it as a cover. And then I also got it in... Or no, I didn't get it in white. I got... A longer piece in white that I think could be cut up for a journal cover. So I have those. I'm running out of places to just throw things here and get them out of my way. All right, I bought some beads. I thought those were really pretty and I don't do a lot with beadwork but I do some charms, you know, things that hang down and I thought when I do, the next time I do a blue journal, those will be really pretty for that. All right, what else do I have in here? I have some stickers. Oh, going along with the purple journal. They had some of those. And I just thought those were really pretty. I don't have any, I'm not doing teal, but teal and purple go well together. And then I bought another set of stickers. These are flower stickers. And that could go in the purple journal. And then I brought, bought another one of these stencils. These are really thin. This says it's an adhesive stencil. So you pull it off. You use it and then you stick it back on the adhesive. Uh, we'll see how that works. I'm, I'm a little bit uh, a little bit leery of it, but we'll see how it works. What the heck? Okay, what else do I have in here? Oh, I also bought grape sours. Not to use in my journaling, but what the heck. All right. I bought... Oh, there's another one. I knew I had another one. I bought another of the stencils. This one has two stencils in it. This one only has one, just the one in it, I think. Yeah, just the one. Whereas this one has two stencils. Uh, this was at the Dollarama for $1.50, so $1.10 to me. And we'll play with that. I liked the butterfly on that one. So my husband 
finally got tired of, I think, I don't know if I've announced this or yet or not. For Mother's Day, he bought me a sewing machine. Because I keep saying, showing him all of these journals that have this cool sewing on it. And he keeps saying, well, why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you sewing? Why aren't you doing the sewing part? Honey, I don't have a machine. I gave it to my daughter and she uses it all the time now and I don't want it back. Um, I, I'm fine. I don't need a sewing machine. And then we look at another journal and I like the sewing and, and I say something nice about it. And he's like, well, why don't we get a sewing machine? So we bought a sewing machine. And I have watched, I don't know if you've watched Carry the Crafters videos on how to how he does his covers, but he uses these as the inside of his cover and then does the fabric over the top of it. And it looked very easy and I thought, I think I can do that. So I bought these to put as the covers. You're gonna I need two for each cover. Yes, two for each cover to give it the thickness. And again, they were a dollar ten for five, so that was fine. I thought that will work. But of course, if I'm going to cover it with fabric, I need fabric, right? Oh my glory! Wait till you see. I tried to get two of everything because each one. I'm going to open one up here to if I can find the. Let me get my scissors and just slice that open. I think I can do it that way, maybe. Oh, okay, this is gonna be stuck to it. That's okay, we're gonna get it open anyway. I, it, this is my chance to see what this really is. Sorry that it's taken so long to do it on camera. I kinda hoped it would just open up, but it takes a little bit more than that. Okay, well, we'll get all the rest of that off later, but let's see how big this is. Because it has a size on it, but, you know, what the size that it says and the size that you think in your head are not always the same size. So, yeah. Okay, that can come right up, I think. Sorry, it's bothering me. There we go. We'll get that off of there. Now it's stuck to my finger. So each piece is about this big, which uh, according to this thing on the outside, it says it is eight inch, 18 inches by 21 inches, which is a little over, just under 46 by 53 centimeters. So 18 by 21. And I figured when I do one of these on it, I might want two pieces if I want to do it. I mean, that'll do like the cover, but if I want to do something for the inside, if I want the same thing for the inside, or maybe I really like it and I want to do it twice. Anyway, I got two of everything. So I have two of these. And I, well, I didn't get two of everything because I didn't have two of everything, but I got two of everything I could. I got two of these really pretty blues. And I got contrasting on these because I want to do a sunflower journal at some point but I thought it'd be really cool to put one on the outside and one on the inside. This one has uh, bees on it as well. And then I got of course two purples. I don't know if that'll be my cover or not yet. We'll find out. Two other blues that I thought were really pretty. And then these do not match uh, but I got them anyway because I just liked them and they only had singles of these. So I got this one which I thought was really pretty and might go with a nice solid somewhere else and then this one which is a nice, it's kind of a teal and gray which might go well with something as well. Oh my glory, look at all of this stuff. Look at all of this stuff. Uh, all told, I spent the most at the scrapbooking store. I spent $175 of Canadian, which came out to about $130 in American. Um, I spent $10 at my at the school at the church sale, and then I spent a whole lot of money at the Dollar Tree. 
and the, the Dollarama. Yeah, this was all from the Dollar Tree. So these were $1.10 a piece. How could I go wrong? Look at all this stuff to play with. Look at all this stuff to play with. In case you have forgotten what I have. Oh my glory. What a haul. And that's not even including these things. Oh, so much stuff. If you are enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button to let YouTube know that you're enjoying them and click the bell for notifications when the next video may come out. I don't know when the next video may come out because I have a lot here to play with, to organize. I am going to have some fun. All right. It's good to be home. And this is Cindy signing off.